This ant, may seem just fine to you, casually wandering into the forest. But there's actually a big catch. The ant, is not in fact itself, it's not even controlling itself right now. This ant, is being controlled by another organism. An organism, that takes over other living beings, as a way to survive. It all starts in the tropical forests of Brazil, when an ant strolled a bit further from its colony. The ant's mission was to find food so that it can be taken back, to feed new larvae of the colony. But, unbeknownst to the ant, it was walking right into a trap. About 25 centimeters above our ant, another ant was lying dead on a leaf. The dead ant had spores sticking out from its head. These spores, are Ophiocordyceps, unilateralis, most commonly known as, the zombie ant fungus. These spores from above, falls down on our ant, and the fate of this ant is now sealed. The zombie ant fungus spores, attach themselves to the cuticle of the ant, and after attaching, they secrete digestive enzymes which breaks the exoskeleton for them to enter into its host. Currently, it's in the form of a single cell, floating around the ant's bloodstream. It keeps making copies of itself until at some point of time the cells, start working together. They attach themselves to each other, and form two black structures, which helps them to communicate and share nutrients which results in them forming a singular organism, with the help of many organisms combined together. The process of taking over our ant has now completed its first stage. In the next stage, the fungus attacks the ant's muscles, which is done by penetrating the muscle cells. The infected ant now shows erratic behaviors, such as walking in random patterns, falling down from leaves, and regular muscle contractions are also observed. The process for ant to reach completely a zombified state is not exact, but it takes around 4 to 9 days for it to happen. Another rather interesting, yet disturbing fact about this process is that the fungus only controls our ants' muscles, and stops the communication between them and the brain. Leaving the brain intact and untouched. This means that the ant can think, and be conscious inside its own body, but is unable to control itself. Its body will follow, what the zombie fungus wants it to do. Zombie fungus can be thought of as a colony of brainless cells, that work together to take control over a living body. The fungus is typically found in tropical environments, where they have favorable conditions to grow. It is abundant in regions like Thailand, Brazil, Central America, and Africa. Now by the time the ant is fully corrupted, it is covered fully with a white fuzzy coating over its body. The next stage after full infection consists of the ant going far away from its colony, and finding a leaf about 10 inches above the ground. This, is mostly done to gain some height for the spores to disperse further, than they would have at the ground level. The ant then just bites onto one of the leaves really hard, and dies. Just to let the viewers know that the mortality rate of an infected ant is mostly always 100%, that means there sadly is no other way for an ant, if it is infected. The body is then consumed by the fungus, which grows spores sticking out from the ant's head, all while the ant is long dead. These spores, then again disperse to nearby unsuspecting preys. And the cycle, continues.